It's a field of seven for the fourth race. And they're at the start. And they're off, and two across, Marion on the inside is going to leave out well, quite nice to the outside. Brindley seals her joyful lady. Those are the first four. Then it is Avalon Freeze and Line Shining, and a handbag of cheesies is back trailing the field. Two across, Marion has the lead as they work their way on into the back stretch. Joyful Lady on the outside now has moved up and taken over second, and now Joyful Lady wants the joy of clearing to the front. Two across, Marion's racing position. Position second, then third in line is Brindley Sealster, and quite nice is fourth. Then it's Avalon Freeze, and back the line shining, and Handbag of Cheesies has yet to get munching, is trailing 28 and 1 the opening quarter. And Joyful Lady has got the lead over two across Marion, but Brindley Sealster forwardly plays third, and quite nice is going to come to the outside now as they race off the turn. And Avalon Freeze is working on the outside and is racing second over Femme. Then it is back to Lions is shining in handbag of cheesies. 58 and 4 is the halftime, and they work their way on past the 5 8 and into the back stretch. Joyful Lady, quite nice, is getting a little bit closer. And then two across, Marion on the inside is third. And Avalon Freeze is now second of her fourth and up a little bit closer. Then Brindley Sealster, handbag of cheesies now is coming on. Then it is back to the trailer lines is shining. Joyful Lady trying to fend off quite nice. Joyful Lady is now got the lead back to a half a length over quite nice. Two across Marion's racing third. And then it is Avalon Freeze and Brindley seals to him. Handbag of cheesies and lines shining. Joyful Lady as they turn for home. Quite nice on the outside hasn't gone away. Joyful Lady as they come on down the stretch drive. Up the inside is two across Marion. But Joyful Lady continues on. Joyful lady, then quite nice. Thirds between Brindley, Sealster, and two across. Marion, 156 flab. And, uh, well, you might have the top four in order. I'm not sure which went, went third for fourth, but uh, Joyful Lady clearly was the one in there. Yeah, clearly. You know, we, we saw that, right? With the, Just really, I said it. Her stock skyrocketed, Gary, after that uh, first race and seeing what Storybook Bella did. And, you know, three to five ended up being, you know, about the price I was expecting on her. Uh, and, and quite nice, good effort, right, to be second there. But Joyful Lady, you know, she, she wanted to lead off the gate. She's been racing well here at the river. I mean, now she's got quite a little win streak of her own happening here. And she just kind of kept driving out for the lead. You know, decent little breather in the second quarter. And she's going to be tough to catch off that in the form that she's in. She's been in as of late. So three to five on the board. Chalk Exacta comes in too. Quite nice second. Uh, photo for third. Obviously, you know, I'd prefer two across Marion. But, but hey, they, I thought they both raced pretty well too. Two across Marion. Nice effort kind of following along and then uh, sticking around for a big piece. And I think Brindley Sealster uh, was a better effort than last time. Now Joyful Lady has seven wins in 13 starts. So winning at more than 50%. We'll see uh, some more fine things out of Joyful Lady. And we're going to see if you do have the one, two across Marion for third. We don't have it posted up yet. Yeah, I think Joyful Ladies won. We saw Sir Bella go up the ladder and uh, and get the job done. So I think, that, you know, no issue with her maybe even taking the step up to the next level. She's been racing well enough that I think, uh, you know, she had respect in there. Now look at that, 4513, you got the top four. So very fine handicapping, but you got to improve your mic technique, buddy. My mic technique? Yeah, you come blasting on at the beginning. Like, you come in too hot. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to simmer it down a little bit for you. There you go. Simmer down, bud. Back in front of us is number four, Joyful Lady, a three-year-old rock and roll dance bay filly, owned by Dave Ratchford, trained by Wayne McGean, and Colin Kelly, the winning drive, fourth race win this year, seventh lifetime, 156 flat. 